My mother wasn't exactly a hoarder, but let's just say that if she thought something would possibly maybe someday have <laughs> okay, even some, someday have some value to somebody, she would keep it. Which is to say that when she died in 2001, she left behind a house filled with lots and lots of crap. And it fell to me, her only daughter, to clean out the house or clean out her stuff from the house. And this is, of course, you know, one of the worst weeks of my life. I'm crippled with grief. I'm 28 years old and coming to terms with the fact that my mother won't be at my wedding. She'll never meet my children. And I have to figure out a way to go on in the world without my mom. So I, you know, I go with, you know, through tears, I go down to her basement and I start cleaning out this storage space under the basement stairs. And there's a veritable suitcase museum down there. There's like vinyl suitcases from the 60s and a plaid one from the 70s and the one from the 80s with those like weird little wheels before they figured out wheel technology. <laughs> there was a hair curler museum, you know, the, the 60s ones that you plug into the wall and like the pink foam ones from the 80s. Documents, I found a Lamaze class receipt from before I was born. I found prescription medication for me, prescribed by a pediatrician who'd been dead for decades. <laughs> and under all of this garbage, I found a painting of a naked woman. And I'm like, what in the world is my mom doing with this? Like, first of all, it's a terrible painting. Like, <laughs> the, she had like these saggy tits and like, that was just rendered really badly. And I'm like, why in the world will my mother have this horrible painting? And I take it to my dad and my dad says, oh, I remember that painting. <laughs> it turns out my mother's first husband, the man she was married to before she met my dad, had been a painter. Which means that the naked woman with the saggy tits in the painting was my mother. <laughs> who I'm grieving. What in the world do you do with a naked painting of your mother the week that she died? And we were having a garage sale. You know, we had to unload the suitcase museum. And I wanted some colorful things on the back wall of the garage. So I put the naked mom painting on the back wall of the garage and I don't give it much thought until some man coming through the garage sale points at the painting and he says, how much is that? I'm like, you want to buy that painting? And I consider my relationship to the model, the quality of the workmanship, and I'm like, $5? <laughs> he hands me $5, he takes the painting off the wall, and he leaves. I call my dad, I'm like, Dad, Dad, somebody bought me Mom! I'm, he's like, oh, she wouldn't like that. I'm like, I know! And then the next day, day two of the garage sale, a limousine pulls up to my parents' driveway, parks at the bottom of the driveway, and the limo driver gets out in his little limo driver cap, and he pops the trunk, and he goes and he's taking something out of the trunk. And I'm like, what in the world is he taking out of his trunk? And this man starts walking up the driveway, and I realize, oh my God, it's the naked mom guy. He's bringing her back. <laughs> he says, my wife didn't like this painting. I'd like to return it. <laughs> and without losing a beat, I say, well, sir, do you have a receipt? <laughs> and he's a little flustered, and I'm like, just kidding. I hand him $5, he gives me back the painting. Now, I am not a religious person. I'm not a person who believes in ghosts or an intervention from beyond. But I will say that that painting was the only thing that was returned to my garage sale. In fact, I'm willing to bet it is the only thing ever returned to any garage sale ever. And whether or not my mother had anything to do with that painting coming back to me, I took it home, I put it on my wall, 
And it has since then moved with me to five different homes <laughs> in three different states. It is on the wall of my house here in Detroit. And there it will stay until the day that my children, hopefully grieving at least a little bit, are faced with the choice of what will happen to it next. Yeah.